Hi, hello, my name is Jacob Van Gas. This is Stuart Croxford, and we are Team KT18. We are here to ride the 2019 Absa Cape Epic. We both were injured in Afghanistan back in um, Jacko was before 2009, I think it was, and myself, I got injured in 2012. So we both went back into the military rehabilitation, and that's why we got that unified sort of experience, and that's why we wanted to race, and that's why we're called KT18. Is is it's a nod to the rehabilitation centre in the UK, um, where we managed to get our lives back on track. And also, we're raising money and awareness for the Wigley Support Fund. The Support Fund helps servicemen and women leaving the armed forces and then settling in. To civilian life. Bit excited to get going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hungry. Hungry already. <laughs> Definitely a little bit of nerves, but I think there's lots more of excitement and you've got amazing race village and atmosphere and other riders supporting everyone as well. You got it, you got it. The issue with endurance and uh, repeated bouts of trauma especially on a mountain bike race such as this where there are often unmanicured paths, rough terrain, uh, high gradients and, and often extreme temperatures. Um, the body takes a, a, a lot of wear and tear and a beating. So for our training what was extremely important is that we knew each other's strengths and weaknesses. There's elements of difficulty that I'm going to be facing with the one arm and there's elements of stew it's going to be quite difficult for him with the prosthetic leg. Done different endurance events, Jacko's done plenty of endurance events as well but I mean I've completed in Ironman triathlons and that's that's a day that's um, really pushing your body through 11 hours or so of, of, of hard exercise but taking on eight days solid I mean we're, we're definitely taking our bodies into the unknown. When it comes to amputations the, the guys will be using their prosthetics so they will be possibly prone to, to falls and, and especially with the upper limb missing uh, it's a lot of con bike control a lot of handling so the guys are obviously prone to, to uh, skin abrasions and overuse pressure sores and, and, and pressure injuries because they may have altered nerve sensation and also because of the, the repeat trauma while riding. So this is the attachment it's, it's a fixed attachment to the bike and the only way I get in and out is by shifting that uh, little pin over to yeah. the left hand side and that unclicks me there um, and that's just a little ratchet system so I can have it as tight or as loosened as I like. Be up out of the saddle, moving about, it's not the quickest release. You're going to fall, you're going to go down with it? Or I'm going to go down with it, yes. Yeah. Yeah. The game plan is to don't fall off, simple as that. Yeah, yeah so, so there's no adaptions to my bike, uh, it's completely just standard. I'm clicked into my leg which is a normal prosthetic with a, a small carbon blade. Right, so I'm, any walking, hike or bike stuff that we need to do, then that's going to, one, help my stump not decondition throughout the eight days. Uh, and then it's just a normal cleat on the bottom, so when I crash, I can get away from my bike. So uh, <laughs> I fall a bit more than he does, so. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. That is true. So I do the falling for the table. We're looking forward to it. It's going to be a long day in the saddle. I reckon six and a half maybe touching seven hours that, that's our goal yeah. Um, but yeah looking forward to it it's it's warm but it's overcast so it's perfect riding conditions yeah, no, no. Give them a round of applause. Well done, mate. Okay,